restrictions on the roads, we have seen accidents all over the place. In Belmont, here's an example of just how dangerous the driving is tonight. This is an SUV that crashed right through the front of a store. Christina Rex is in Lawrence for us. And Christina, I know you've seen some heavy bands of snow there as well. Lisa, it's been a mix. You know, sometimes it's beautiful falling snow like you see right now. And then, oh, it almost is doing it on cue. Every five minutes or so, just a gust of wind blowing the snow sideways. I've carved out a little fort for myself here at this point. It seems like the snow that we have here in Lawrence, it's getting heavier, but it's still that pretty fluffy snow right now compared to what Nick is describing in the Boston area. If we can, Jerry, just show them a look at the road out here if possible. Um, We've seen just as many plows as we've seen cars on the road, which obviously is a good thing. Officials have been encouraging people to stay home. Definitely a small layer of snow caked onto the road at this point, but we haven't seen any cars having trouble here. We're right off 495 on Route 114. Again, not too many people out tonight, but of course, like any Nor'easter, we did find the few people out and about. Hey, yeah, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> what better time to head out and buy a trunk full of groceries? Than during the year's first major right, nor'easter. I, I don't want to get stormed in with no food at home. I got a I got a four year old at home. Yeah, so I'm not gonna get stuck at home with no food, you know. In Lawrence, Monday night, grocery carts trudged through newly fallen snow just before stores close. You gotta do what you gotta do. And shoppers' windows frosted up during their few minutes inside. On the roads, crews were out from three in the morning all through the night. Were mostly empty, but drivers were prepared for a textbook nor'easter. You gotta watch out for the other guy while you're doing your own driving. You gotta drive for him too. And DPW was ready too, with 90 snow vehicles on standby for a standard but lengthy storm. To have extra crew just available, just in case. And uh, we also had a talk with our uh, DPW workers, letting them know that this is gonna be a long uh, storm. Be ready for it. And just in the last one minute, we saw two more plows come through and plow the road one more time. One other note here in Lawrence. I know Nick told you about schools in Boston. Schools here in Lawrence, no more snow day tomorrow. Instead of a snow day, it's going to be a fully remote learning day for all students. Live here in Lawrence, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you. Along